Assalamu alaikum boys and girls and welcome to Ramadan camp day four. Our hero today is Rufayd al-Islamiya. She's also known as the first Muslim nurse and female surgeon. She lived in the seventh century. You probably know of Florence Nightingale, the mother of modern nursing, but there was someone many centuries before her who nursed soldiers during battles. She is our hero, Rufayd al-Islamiya radiallahu anha who lived during the time of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam and is said to be the first female nurse and surgeon. Rufayda was curious about the human body. Her father was a healer and taught her about it from a very young age. She learned how to take care of the sick and techniques on how to heal the wounded. Rufayda was so dedicated to learning about the human body and healing people that she became one of the most sought after healers in the community. Her skills became critical during battles. With Prophet Muhammad wasallam's permission, she set up tents along with female volunteers and treated the wounded. Rufayda was the one who trained these volunteers. Prophet Muhammad wasallam trusted her ability so much that there were many wounded soldiers he requested to only be taken to her tent for treatment. Not only did she nurse them, but she also performed surgeries to save their lives. It didn't matter how scary the battles were or how hot the weather was. Rufayda and the volunteers persisted in saving as many lives as they could. But Rufayda's contribution was not only limited to battles. Our noble hero also designed the first ever documented mobile care unit that could be moved from town to town to treat people. We know we are supposed to regularly wash our hands to get rid of germs. Well, Rufayda advocated washing hands and other hygiene practices way back then to prevent many diseases. She would walk from town to town advising people to keep clean. Rufayda developed new traditions and rules for better nursing, many of which you would find in modern nursing. Rufayda also wanted to give back to her people in other ways. She spent her time looking after the sick, orphans, and the poor. She also taught others to become nurses and healers in their community. She was a kind, patient, and committed woman who wanted to help as many people as she could. Today, she's still remembered by RCSI Medical University in Bahrain, who awards the best nursing student with the Rufayda al-Islamiyah Prize every year. Rufayda is another example of a Muslim woman from time of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, who followed a path that may be surprising to many people today. She is one of the thousands of early Muslim women who were strong Muslims and followed their dreams and helped the world become a better place. Today's activity inspired by Rufayda al-Islamiyah is to always be curious. I want you to tell me something you're curious about and have a blessed Ramadan day, everybody.